I'm Lisa Chalmers. I graduated in maths in 1989 and I went into a company that did work for the European Space Agency so I did about 13 years working at the European Space Agency doing attitude determination and mission control systems design. While I was doing my space work, the people that I was mixing with were mathematicians, computer scientists, physicists, astrophysicists, basically people who were good at maths, recognised that they were good at maths and didn't have any issues. When I had a career break to have my son, I came into contact with lots of really intelligent people who had good logic skills, good reasoning, good organisation, could um, make decisions and were really terrified of maths and said, oh, I'm rubbish at maths. Um, I got off the maths bus when X got on um, and just really, really thought that they're bad at maths. And I, I just didn't think that was possible, that these intelligent people couldn't be good at maths. And I think I might be able to do something about that. I found out about the maths scholarships when I was looking at the um, websites about funding for PGCE programs. I thought that I w wasn't the sort of person, I'm not a math scholarship sort of person, that would just be for um, really, really brainy people. Um, and I, I, I didn't feel at any point that I would get it, but I did the, the initial maths test for a bit of fun really. I, just came across it and I thought oh, all right I'll do this yeah because I've been mostly tutoring kids for school math so it was quite fun for me to do something um, a bit more challenging so I had some experience in a uh, London comprehensive because I, I did some voluntary work to try and decide whether I could translate enjoying tutoring friends children to working in a London comprehensive and whether I would get on with the children, whether I would be able to, to work with them. And I absolutely loved the school environment. I thought the, the children, the, ch the children are just really interesting as well. And the, you know, they're from all different backgrounds and they've got all sorts of issues and all sorts of problems. And I think teenagers brains are developing into adult brains. It's just a really interesting age group. I think the benefits that come with the, you know, the support groups, the information that you get from the scholarship scheme, the help with teaching, the memberships of the societies is, is actually really useful for preparing lessons. In terms of applying for jobs, I expect it will be quite useful because any heads of department or head teachers, they already know that if you've received a teacher training scholarship that you've already convinced some people that you're serious about teaching that it's it's something that is important to you and something that you're going to be really good at one day I hope.